Hey everyone, this is Jill for the Stamp Simply Ribbon Store and today we are going to make a coffee shaker card. So let's get started. First I'm going to go through what we need. You need some dark brown cardstock. I have this scored in half and folded. Then we're going to need a panel of white which is four by five and a quarter. And you're actually going to need three of those pieces. One for the inside and two for the outside. And then I have some coffee bean paper from the Echo Park Coffee Pack. And that is cut to three and three quarters by five. And then I saved the scrap from the six by six piece. And this is one by five and a quarter for the inside of the card. Then I have some dies and some stamps. So I have the cup of Java stamps with the coordinating dies. And we are gonna cut the small coffee cup and the handle and I've actually pre-cut that and then we also are going to stamp with uh, a few stamps from the cup of java stamp set and then I have a few things out we have the uh, farmhouse pierced nested hearts this is a set of three dies and we are going to use the big one and I pre-cut the small one which is still on my die cutting machine uh, for the cup. So let's go ahead and get started and then we'll do the, the shaker part last. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to decorate the inside of the card. So I'm just gonna take one of my four and a quarter by five, four and a quarter, four by five and a quarter, and I am going to stamp on the inside of that. So I have my mini Misty here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in here and I'm gonna line it up kind of centered and I'm gonna position the paper where I want it, like so, kind of with a little bit at the bottom showing. And then I'm going to position the sentiment right here in the center. All right, so then we're gonna close the lid, pick that up. I can move this out of the way. The reason why I didn't glue it first was in case I mess up, I can turn it over. So I'm gonna go ahead and ink this. And I have some dark brown ink here. And then we're just gonna go ahead and close that. Give it a good rub. And it's a little light, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. Kind of push down on that a little bit. And there we go. So now we have the inside all stamped. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this stamp out and move it to the side. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put that together on the inside of the card. So I have my card base here and I'm just gonna put some adhesive on the coffee bean paper. Position that towards the bottom. All right, and it is just a little bit too big, so we are going to trim that edge off. Move that out of the way, and then go ahead and tape that down. Okay. So now you have the inside of your card. Now we're ready to work on the outside. So I have this piece for the main layer of the front. And then I have the same thing with the coffee bean paper and a layer of white. Um, you could make the shaker with just this, but I was afraid it was gonna be a little bit flimsy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line this up and we can actually go ahead and tape that down, but you don't wanna tape where you're putting the heart. So we're gonna go ahead and tape this right down like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna position the heart to the left, but you wanna leave enough space here for your window and for your foam tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this heart out and it's gonna cut through both layers. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cut the heart and you can, you can see that there's two hearts here. You can save those for another project. And now what you have is your window. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this over and I have a piece of clear acetate cut to the size of the heart. 
Don't remember the exact size of it, but we're gonna go ahead and put that on. And I like to use liquid glue because I can go all the way around the heart and then a little bit extra too. And then when this dries, it's really nice and secure. I went a little bit over, so I'm just gonna wipe that off with my finger. All right, so now you have your window. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this piece and we're gonna line it back up in the misty to stamp inside the window. So we're stamping on this piece right here, but we're layering it with this piece right here. So now that I have that all positioned, I'm gonna take the freshly ground and position it right there in the window. Make sure these are lined up, move a few things out of the way, and carefully close the lid of your Misty. And then you're going to lift that off. I probably should double check it now because I moved it. All right, just gotta reposition that. I should've used my magnet before I picked it up. All right, so you have freshly ground in the center. So now I'm gonna use the magnet and slip it under there so that doesn't move. So we're gonna go ahead and ink that up with the dark brown ink. And it is gonna be positioned right inside that shaker window. So I'm gonna stamp that twice so it's nice and crisp. And there we have this. And it is positioned right inside of the window. All right, we're done stamping for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the ink and the papers away. Now we are ready to create the window and the shaker part. So I have some foam tape here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put some kind of all around the edge because you don't want it you don't want the shaker to like just be foam taped in the middle around the window. I mean, you definitely want to do that, but so what I do is I take a piece like this and I cut it down the middle. And then we're going to position it to create a nice tight heart. I'm just going to go like that. And this way here, you, you can't fill, you could fill the whole thing with um, sequins, but then that's kind of wasteful. So we're just going to go ahead and put this all the way around the heart to create that sh uh, shaker where it's tight. So do a little bit more here. So I'm okay if some sequins go down here, but you don't want sequins to go totally all over the inside. So this is where you need some tape along the edge. And then you pretty much just have to piece this together. But you're gonna want some down here. This way here, it's evenly mounted all the way around. We need a little bit more on the heart and a little bit more over here. So I'm gonna go like this and then kind of squeeze it in there. And right there. So they all are in that window. And I think I'm gonna put a little tiny piece at the bottom of that. I don't know if I'll be able to squeeze it in at the bottom of the heart without it showing. But I think, it. there we go, just like that. And then we have to do a little bit right here. So no shortage of foam tape on this card. All right, that should do it. Could put a little tiny piece right there on the end. A little too long. Just trim that off. Okay, so now we are ready to make the shaker part. So you're gonna peel all of these little pieces off. I'm gonna move my magnet out of the way. And once we get them all off, we're going to put some sequins in place. The first time I made this card, I put too many sequins in and kind of had to rip it apart and pull it together. So I'm try not to overdo the sequins. I always like my windows really full. Um, 
full of sequins or whatever shaker items that we decide to put in there. Most of the time I pick sequins. So let me just get these last little ones off. And then what we can do is we have some, I have some gold sequins right here. Hopefully I can get them open. There we go. And I'm just gonna put a small amount there. I just, from experience, was a little heavy handed on the um, sequence the first time around. So you want enough where it goes down, but not so many that they cover up the sentiment. So then you just kind of have to eyeball this and line it up. And there we go. So now you can see, as you wiggle these, they move around and tap them around. So some of the static, and then you can see we have freshly ground coffee. So as these settle down, the sentiment will show. I have one stuck right there, but the more you tap and wiggle, the more they move. So now we are ready to go ahead and put this on the front of the card. And then we'll just add the finishing touches. So I'm going to use liquid glue because it gives me some wiggle room and then I don't smush the shaker. Should put a little bit on there. And with wiggle room, what I mean is that I can slide it on here. It's not just one stick. So we're going to slide that right into place so it's straight. Give that a few seconds to dry. And what we're going to do is we're going to work on the cup. So I have just cut this in green uh, printed paper. I picked the solid side from the coffee pack and I have some foam squares on my table. And what we're going to do is we're just going to put the heart right in the middle of the cup. And then we're going to glue this handle on. And I like to use liquid glue for this as well. And that way there you can slide your handle into place. So you kind of have some to get it just right. And then you press down and a little bit of glue there. So we'll just wipe that off. And now you have your cup. And all right, so I'm going to tap this a little bit. See if I can get that one moving. I'm going to get them all moving. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and tape this right to the front here. And then I have an oval cut from one of the many oval shapes in my stash. It's super, super skinny, just to anchor my cup. So we're going to put that down first so my cup is where I want it. And then we're going to just put some glue here on the cup and cover part of that heart. Oops, it's sticking to my finger. All right. There you have the card. So remember, the more you shake and the more you move those around, the more sentiment you're going to see. Because you can see this one's been well wiggled and all of them are falling at the bottom. So we have two of the same cards with the hearts and the inside is stamped on both. Hope you enjoyed today's video and thanks for joining me.